So I have this extraordinarily large piece of cardboard that I'm going to use for a project. Um, look at... <laughs> we have to do a project for university. I have to make something bigger than myself. So this seems like the perfect canvas. So, yes, um, this is a big piece of cardboard and I was like, well, I have a lot of time. Not that this took me that long, to be honest. Probably like three hours at most. There was only like an hour of footage um, for this video. Uh, I did do a little bit off camera, but not that much. So yeah, it's it's a bit deceptively large. It kind of looks like it took ages, but I, but I use mostly like spray paint and um, Sharpies and tools that you can just see animals in the background. <laughs> um, tools that didn't really take up that much time um but it was a lot of fun here i'm just sort of priming it because spray paint if you spray directly onto cardboard sometimes it just sort of soaks in and doesn't leave a super vibrant sort of look so i just use a little bit of pretty watered down acrylic paint um I would maybe have used my gesso, but it's sort of growing life forms in the corner, so I, I just used acrylic paint instead, and that worked alright. That was just sort of just to add some texture and something to work with, because um, spray paint on its own can look a little bit flat, so yeah. I've got like a sort of box going on, like a room. Um, I'd so I, I struggled a little bit, so as you can see, I think here I start painting um, with creating sort of accurate lighting because I didn't really have a light source because there's not really one super, well there isn't one that you can see in the picture. So I kind of, I don't know, messed around with colours and stuff. I think the effect in the end is kind of cool with like the sort of yellow on the top and the purple on the bottom. I've been using yellow, purple, and red spray paint a lot in combination, and I think, I don't know, it's a pretty cool effect. I did run out of white halfway through this project, which was a little bit sad, but I got some more because the hardware store is still open, which is very nice. Um, yeah, I just use like the cheapest spray paint from the hardware store. I think it's meant for like touching up walls and stuff, maybe. Um, I don't really know. Hi, dog. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I've been doing okay. Um, it is, it's quite nice, even though it's annoying that uni's online, because it's, it's a very physical sort of course where, like, you know, we have our own studio that I showed you in previous videos and and that kind of thing. It is still fun to have like art assignments to work on at home because otherwise I think I would just sort of flounder a bit. Although I have been doing a lot of quote unquote productive stuff. Like I've taught myself how to use Cakewalk to produce like electronic music. Um, like Glenn said, I don't know, commented, I think it was my last video maybe. Um, he was like, oh, this music really suits the video, blah, blah. Um, and I was like, yeah, it does. I made it myself. So thank you, Glenn. Because, um, yeah, I've been, I don't know, just messing around. It's just a free software. So there's, it's not, there's not a huge number of plugins and effects that you can use and mess around with. But I've also been using, like, freesound.org, I think, uh, which is a cool site that I've been grabbing some samples off and just having to play with that so might put out a um electronica EP maybe <laughs> in the future I mean I'm just releasing all sorts of stuff at the moment I, I put out a single by the way um that's available now on Spotify and iTunes and everywhere you find music um it's called Portrait there's also a b-side called Landscape get it haha <laughs> um that's just an instrumental with me and my sister um, that's pretty cool, and I'm putting out a music video on Friday, I'm just gonna plug myself for a little bit, um, I shot that about, like, six months ago now, I think, and I just haven't got around to releasing it, because I haven't finished recording the album that it's 
for, but I thought, you know, I'd as well just release it and maybe get myself a little motivated to finish the album uh, so I can start a new one, which I'm also quite excited about. I'm going to write like a concept album type thing. Anyway, that's all music stuff, um, which is fun and good. Uh, here I'm starting to use markers instead of just paint. I, I did a lot of layers of spray paint and I don't really think I needed to do quite so many layers, but you know, it's all part of the process. Um, here I, here I get out my big boy Sharpie, uh, which is, uh, it's just so much fun to use. It just lays down ink really fast and thick and it's, it's quite, quite fun. Um, yeah, so I'm just drawing, this is kind of the, the last-ish bit, uh, I do some, a little bit of spray paint over the top of this just to sort of make it a bit more cohesive, um, look at Pip, he's just walking around, my precious boy, um, yeah, what would we do without pets, man? Like, could you imagine the apocalypse without pets? Be so sad. His butt just... <laughs> anyway, I'm a little bit distracted. Uh, yeah. I don't really know what else to say. I kind of get to that point in these voiceovers because I have a, a certain amount of time I have to talk for and I don't have a script or anything, so I'm just kind of rambling. But, you know... You can deal with that. If, you, if you're watching me on YouTube, you probably either A, know me in real life and know that this is just how I talk, <laughs> or B, you've been watching me for a while and you know that this is just how I talk, or C, you've just discovered me and welcome, uh, and my brain is a fascinating place full of strange and... Um, uh, unconventional things <laughs> and uh, it's a fun time you should stay um, I hit 200 subscribers by the way which is kind of meaningless in the grand scheme of things but it's it means something to me so that's cool um, thank you for subscribing <sighs> yeah I'm having a good time you know oh <laughs> some spray paint uh, yeah, I, I finished this off, like, in the evening, so it was a bit dark, so I used a torch, and then I was like, whoa, spray paint in torchlight looks so cool. Uh, so that's where my brain's at. I played with shaving cream and food dye the other day, uh, which is how my quarantine's going, so, you know, it was very squishy. Here we have the finished product. Uh... I guess I'll get a close up. My pen started running out, which was quite annoying, but it was very fun to do, especially the the bigger lines with the Magnum Sharpie, this beast. <laughs> <laughs> 